just had an interesting conversation with my sister. Um, when she was visiting recently, um, she decorated mum and dad's lounge. Oh, let me just turn that radio off because it's going to be a bit distracting. Um, yeah, she decorated, her and her partner decorated the, uh, the lounge for mum and dad. Um, they also offered to do the kitchen. Um, and mum was kind of resistant towards it. So um, my sister's coming back for another visit and she's, like before, she's offered to decorate mum's kitchen for her. Um, so, so I phoned mum after I'd had the conversation with my sister and mum's still adamant that she doesn't want the kitchen decorating. Um, and I don't know whether it's because she feels that it's going to be a bit too much upheaval after the last time or whether it's just too close um, to having the upheaval for that, that she had with the lounge. But it's only a couple of days. Um, and I was trying to kind of persuade her um, to do it because it really could do with just freshening up. The paintwork could do with freshening up. The, the wallpaper does really need to come off, but it can be painted over at a push. It's not a um, one of those wallpapers where you can't paint, up, paint over. So it's not going to be very difficult to redo the kitchen. It's mostly tiles and cupboards anyway, storage cupboards, um, kitchen cabinets, that kind of thing. So there's only a real small area of wall in the kitchen that really needs to be painted, decorated. <clears throat> and the woodwork kind of wants tidying up the doors, um, skirting boards and that kind of thing. It would only take a couple of days to do it. So I've got to work on mum um, to see whether or not I can persuade her to decorate it. Because like I said, it does need doing had a right day of it today so far. It's Saturday, 1st of June. It's now half past two. At 11 o'clock this morning, I started to do my mission inspiration project, which went well, apart from dropping things on the floor and throwing white gesso everywhere. Um, so once I'd actually got it all filmed and everything, I then tried to get the footage from my phone into the computer. My phone would not talk to the computer. I plugged in the cable, it still ignored it. It wouldn't Bluetooth. It wouldn't transfer it, so I tried to transfer it to my other phone, my new phone from my older phone. The two phones would not talk to each other. Bluetooth just ignored. It kept declining or just kept saying waiting. So in the end, I thought, oh, I'll just upload it to the iCloud. So I tried to upload it and then downloaded it again. Still wouldn't have it. In the end, I had to transfer it over to Ian's computer. And then because we're networked, bring it from Ian's computer over onto my computer before I could even get it into the editing software to actually edit it. Now it's edited, it's taken over an hour to render and I hadn't even uploaded it to YouTube yet. And it's half past two and I started at 11. I've had one of those days today. I've not, not known whether I've been coming or going, room wise or widdershins, no idea. Can't wait for this to be over so I can put a, put just draw a line under the day. <laughs> definitely do a drink tonight. So it's 10 past four and I'm still no further on with uploading the video to YouTube for tonight. So after uploading it the first time, though it wasn't working, it just kept jamming again, just kept freezing. So I deleted that, re-uploaded it again. Um, this time it froze right at the very end, five minutes towards the end to be precise. Um, the end of file marker, I think, must be damaged on it, so I've had to delete it again and I've had to sit and re-edit the whole video once again, but this time um, convert it to 30 frames per second from the 60 frames high definition one, which I originally filmed it in, because I think that's what the issue is. For some strange reason, it just can't handle the, the 60 frames per second, which is 4K, basically. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I've had to re-edit the whole thing again, this time 30 frames per second. I'm just re-rendering the video now, so fingers crossed. Five hours later, we may be finished. In the meantime, I've nipped to the supermarket and bought some sweets and chocolate for tonight. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> it's either chocolate or drink. So it's now a quarter to six. And I'm happy to report that the video has finally uploaded correctly. And by the looks of it, 
it's the right length as well. Um, I also ran out of space on my hard drive, so I've had to delete loads and loads of old uh, video files, but that's not too much of a hardship. Um, but yeah, so what started out at 11 o'clock this morning? <laughs> it's like quarter to six. Right. I'm definitely, definitely having a pizza. I'm going to have a beer and then I'm going to stuff my face with chocolate while we're watching the new Ghostbusters movie this evening. So there we go. Just to celebrate. So it's Sunday afternoon. It's just approaching 2 p.m. So we've had lunch. Um, we had leftover pizza from last night. So we both bought large pizzas last night from Domino's. Um, but we couldn't eat it, so we decided to save the rest for, uh, for lunch today. Um, so that's it. So we've saved some money, which is really good. So I'm in the garage now, just cutting out some of my orders for website orders. So they get processed and get in the post early next week. And Ian's upstairs on the computer, adulting. And by adulting, I mean he's sorting out the car insurance. He's sorting out the house insurance. And because that needs updating with a revised rebuild cost uh, because we realised that it was way, way, way too low because it hadn't been updated for five years um, and also sorting out the um, insurance for the, for the boys, the pet insurance so yeah, so he's busy adulting and he's not enjoying it one little bit I'm not enjoying it one little bit, however <laughs> I am going to enjoy this Ooh, ooh now that looks rather sticky toffee and salted caramel cheesecake from Marks and Spencer. Did you just lick it then? Might have done. It's got drizzly bits on and rabbit droppings. I don't. I seriously hope they're not rabbit droppings. If you've seen the film, film is it up? No, not up. Hoppity, the one with the bunny Hop. rabbit. Hop. That's where it comes mm, from. Right. Yeah, so that's for, our, that's for our afters. Lovely stuff. So, what else? So, just going through what we've done, you've not only done the house insurance, the car insurance, and the pet insurance, you've also done what other insurance today? Personal, I've done my personal liability insurance for the shows. For when you do your market traders. So, if anybody you know happens to fall or die or it kills somebody, five million quid I'm insured to. That's nice. Okay. So, and what else have you done? I've done, obviously, done the car insurance. Yep. Oh, we have no, we've, car insurance is due at the end of the month. End of June. Yeah. Yeah. Right. House insurance. Yes. PLI insurance. Personal liability insurance. Yeah. yeah. And pet uh, insurance. And the pet insurance is done for Bentley as well. Yeah. Nipper's not insured at this moment because he's very well and he's never been poorly. So um, we'll cross that bridge. We will cross that bridge when we come to. And what it. else have you done? Um, I've been to Marks and Spencer's. No, you, you've just done something else. We've had to take your photo. Oh, I've done my voter ID for the election that's coming up here in the UK. Yes. So I've had to stand like this. Mugshot. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. But the trouble is, when, when you're taking the photo with your glasses off, you don't know whether you, what, what you're photographing, because I can't see anything without these. No, on. it was blurred for me you as see, well. See, if I take that off, my God, Mike turns into, um, what's he called? Henry Cavell? Yeah. Yeah, Matt Bowman. And I put them back on and it's like, oh, it's him. Lumpy old Pongo. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's Monday morning and I've just dropped off um, some medical documents at the uh, the doctor's surgery for mum. So things to do with the prescriptions and that kind of thing. So the <laughs> it's a real narrow passage between two of the buildings, which I always think of as Diagon Alley. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Oh, excuse me. So now I've done that, I can go and pick mum up so I promised her I'd take her out to a garden centre this morning if the weather was agreeable and although it's not sunny it's not raining so that qualifies so I've just given her a ring just to make sure that she's remembered we're going out which she hadn't so I've given her 20 minutes notice to get herself dressed properly 
and ready before I get there. <laughs> I don't know whether Dad's coming. I hope he does. Tell me, what? <coughs> what? But it's too early, it's not playtime yet. What about little nip nips? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's too early for playtime. Monkey, come on. Come here. Come on, Nippy. Oh, little monkey. Eh, little monkey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you just woke up, haven't you? Eh. Look at those ears. Like Dobby. Eh, like Dobby the house elf, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm just out with the dogs. Look at that beautiful blue sky. And then there's this. <laughs> Fast approaching. So I either run that direction or we head home. Because I certainly don't want to get caught in it. <laughs> Come on, Bentley. Come on, Nippy. Doesn't look like we've got long. Just managed to get back before it starts, eh? Come on, then. <sighs> yeah. Looks like there's actually a rainbow up in there somewhere. So it looks like we made it back just in time. So I've sort of set myself a challenge. After um, the Facebook Live, Facebook and YouTube Live that I did with Kay um, at Indigo Blue on Friday, for the launch of the new papers and the new stamps, um, I was kind of fired up to try and um, work out whether or not my setup here at home is capable uh, of doing live streaming, uh, doing a live broadcast through Facebook or YouTube. Now, I looked at this a couple of years ago um, and our broadband wasn't good enough. Um, but recently, um, we've upgraded our broadband package. Uh, we now get a boosted version through because I've got my mobile phone contract with O2 here in the UK um, our internet package and TV package cable package um, is through Virgin uh, Virgin Media um, because we've got both um, they kind of uh, they've collaborated um, with a boost service if you like um, which boosts the speed of your internet um, which we got done about a month or so ago so um, on Sunday afternoon while Ian took the dogs out I did a quick um, test on YouTube I did a live broadcast on YouTube just a quick one using a little bit of um, software that I downloaded um from its internet um did a quick setup and just went on just to see whether or not it would work whether it was good enough quality whether my webcam was good enough quality to do it um and about 20 odd people jumped on at the same time and i can said hello which was <laughs> quite surprising and fun as well at the same time um a bit of an impromptu kind of live session um, so what I would like to do now, now that I know that my broadband and my equipment, my webcams and that kind of stuff is capable and is good enough quality to do a live broadcast, is to invest a little bit of money, uh, maybe upgrade the webcams a little bit um, so that I've got a better quality one, uh, but also... Um, what I'm going to need to do is where my workstation is over there, 
is I'm going to need to install some kind of computer over there so that I can run all the software because otherwise I wouldn't be able to switch between the two cameras from my desk which is here at the other side of the room. So I either run a cable from here which is you know four or five meters long which could have to go behind the bookcases and all that kind of stuff which is a faff um, or find a wireless solution which I've been experimenting with this morning to see whether or not I can turn my phones into a webcam. Um, there is a piece of software that enables you to do it all wirelessly. The only problem is it only allows you to use one mobile device. Um, so it's either your phone or something else. You can't have two devices linked at the same time. So you've got to switch between the two, which is sensible when you're trying to do like a face on like I am now, then switch to overhead, you only want one source, unless you're doing that little thing in the corner where you've got your face and you're talking while you're working, which people find really distracting, I've found. Um, that's the comments that I've had about it in the past. Um, but the software won't allow you to have two cameras connected at the same time to be ready to switch between the two, if you like, one at a time. So the only real, real way to do it is to have two wired cameras feeding into the software, and then you can just switch between the two as and when you're ready. Um, so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to have to invest in either a laptop and keep it over there and connect the two webcams to it from there and then connect the Wi-Fi to do it um, or run cables all the way along. Um, either way, um, it's, you know, it's a bit of an outlay. So I've got to weigh up the pros and cons. Um, after I made the video available of the Facebook and YouTube Live that I did with Kay on Friday, I uploaded that to my YouTube channel last night. Um, it hasn't had a lot of views. So I don't know whether that's because people don't like, or my followers, subscribers to my YouTube channel, don't like live broadcasts. So there's only a small percentage of them that like lives. Um, I don't know. So I'll have to do a kind of a poll or le you let me know in the comments section whether you like live broadcasts. Now, obviously, I'm here in the UK. Um, the majority of my audience is in the US, so I will pick a time appropriately for me to broadcast and do the live um, at a time which would be convenient for people in the US as well as obviously in the UK. So not too late in the evening here in the UK, so it's not going to be too early for people in the US. And I do appreciate that there is a huge time difference between East Coast US and West Coast US. <laughs> I appreciate that there is a, a bit of a time difference. So I've got to try and find that happy medium between kind of um, Maryland and that kind of area, upstate New York kind of area, Maine, all that kind of stuff, and Oregon, California, um, and that kind of thing. So there's a huge kind of difference between the two. So yeah, a bit more investigation. A bit more research to be done just yet, um, but like I said, it's something I'm seriously considering doing in the very near future. So let me know what you think. So, now that you've done that, Dad, we're going to have to do it now, aren't we? <laughs> so it's going to have to be done now. Just, Just testing. testing. <laughs> Just testing to see if it'll strip easy. So, that's answered that question then, hasn't it, ma'am? certainly does. <laughs> It's one of those addictive kind of activities, isn't it, Dad? Where once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> oh, 
Second second all of them. No, it's taking the shelf down up there and yeah. washing all your pewter tankards. You could have just took the shelf and the tankards off and painted and that'd been it. Whoops. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.